Hey everybody, it's me, Super Paul Games. We're trying to deliver a message for some doctor from the Crimson Caravan. I don't know where the hell I am. Maybe I can guess for directions. It's normal to pick a lock in a house to ask directions. It's okay. It's all good. <laughs> I gotta ask somehow, man. I gotta know. Oh, I can pick some maize. That's amazing. I won't steal their corn. I'd feel bad about that. Not terribly bad, but slightly bad. Charlie Dick Suckers, not... Well, he's not the greatest guy of all time. Don't tell Rex that, though. How are you all doing? Um... Oh. I guess this will fit in with his OCD. <laughs> he's just gonna wander around here. Hello? Oh, there's a guy. Maybe he can help me out. I'm looking for Camp McCarran, friend. I gotta deliver a message. Excuse me. What is it, Trooper? You're not assigned to my squad, as far as I know. <laughs> so, so you think I'm a Trooper because I got a Ranger outfit on? Uh, what can you tell me about these fields, bro? Impressive, aren't they? You don't see anything like this outside of NCR territory, that's for sure. We get the water, clean water, pumped in from Lake Mead. If you follow the big pipes, they'll take you all the way to the lake. Now, why are these fields being guarded? A lot of the crops grown here support the various NCR camps in the region. McCarran, Goff, and Forlorn Hope, to name a few. Ooh, McCarran! We can't have wastelanders popping in here for a free meal. So my squad and I are assigned to keep things from going to hell. You should give me a free meal. I'm a ranger, I promise. Carry on. My wayward son. Well, fuck. Maybe there's somebody else who can be more helpful to us here. Rex, we're not doing very good at finding more allies. Oh. Pick honey mesquite? I don't need honey mesquite. Rex, this isn't going to help us. Plants can't help us. Unless we can radiate them and uh, make them sentient. Then I can make a plant army of Ents. There's got to be someone here to talk to, besides that guy. You know what, on second thought, screw it. I'll leave the farmers to their farming. Oh, I like that shot there. We can see the casino. I just need to find Camp McCarran. I think it's behind these walls. Let's find the door, Rexington. Yeah, I know I'm still dressed as a member of the NCR. I got my trusty rifle. For rifling through things. Who's those guys? Those look like caravan dweebs. Look, there's something to do at the hotel. <laughs> look at these assholes. Yeah, you walk right into the... Hello? Hi, who's your friend with the biker helmet? <laughs> when payday hits, I'm off to the strip. Can't wait. You look rad, man. All the chicks are going to want some of that. You dork. Here, I'll help you. Get on your way. Come on. I'm helping you, Fred. You were Damn stuck it. on your idiot um, guard. Go ahead. No, don't don't look at Rex. Whatever. Rex, you just can't fix stupid. <laughs> just stand there like morons. Rex, this is why this is still a wasteland. Everybody in the future is stupid. The El Rey Motel. Hi, excuse me, ma'am. The NCR took back Nelson. Maybe they can win this war after all. Maybe you can suck my dick after all. I hate the NCR. I mean, I'm a member of the NCR! Oh, here's another room I should ask for directions in. It's normal to break in. It's hospitality to let myself in. Oh, I like the Christmas Over here. Lights. No, Rex! No! Oh, Rex. Really? Really, Rex? Did you have to do that? Take his mentats and this knife? Rex. Okay, I'm gonna trust you. Maybe he was going for a gun. He did have a knife. You didn't even get to talk, Rex. You're Judge Jury and Executioner. You're Judge Dredd. 
He's got a belt. Bed. Pre-war casual wear? I don't think it's inappropriate for me to take his nice clothes and wear it. Where is it? There we go, now I look like a normal scoutmaster or some shit. He's got two knives? He really like knives. Alright. This wasn't very productive there, Rex. I look like a school teacher or some shit. Would your kid like to join the baseball team? Basey balls. Where he's like Oh, I'm back to being dad of the wasteland. That's what it is. Oops. Can we No oh, fuck. It's very easy and I broke a bobby pin. That was stupid. That was a lack of patience. I'm like, just open it up. Okay, Rex. Let's not murder anyone else. Did you do this, Rex? Somebody else must have murdered this person. They don't need this stuff. Man, this is a murder hotel. Wasteland do does not approve. What's this? Super Duper Mart! That sounds pretty cool. From grocery electronics, guarding these supplies to home decor, Super Duper Mart has it all! You should check that place out. Oh man, they hide their booze in there. Now I want booze. Well, I'll leave his book. Let's look through his suitcase. We don't need a sexy sleepwear. We already had some of that in a different episode. What's there? His nuts? I will take his nuts. These nuts belong to me! <laughs> Wasteland. <laughs> Thanks. I don't know why that guy died. Maybe OD'd. Maybe someone murdered him. Maybe it was the guy that... The, the guy Rex murdered must have murdered him. Yep, Rex, all your murders are justified. I'm not in denial about your homicidal streak. Well, this hotel sucks. There's gotta be something here. See how easily I get distracted? Charlie Dicksucker gets distracted. Ah! I mean, Rex! No, I don't want to shoot Rex. Why did... How did the scorpions afford a room? That's crazy to me. They must have saved up. I hope this wasn't like a family trip for the scorpions. They're like, we're gonna go see Vegas! <laughs> me, me and Rex have just destroyed the uh, Bark Scorpion vacation. Sorry, scorpion family. Good job, Rex. Just take their poison glands. Never know when you're gonna need a poison gland. That's what my dad said. Oh, here's another guy. Man, this is a. I'll leave you with your baseball hat. In case you have to go play baseball in the afterlife. Ooh, he's got glasses. Yoink. Let's see here. Pencil. I don't need that. Wait, what's that? The note reads, your debt still remains unpaid. We have warned you twice. There will not be a third warning. Only consequences. You have one day. Oh, that must be why there's scorpions here. The scorpions are collecting on the money they loaned him. <laughs> I don't feel so bad now. If they were loan shark scorpions. <laughs> See, Rex, we did a good job with all our murdering ways. I ever sent that guy a message. That's one hell of a message sending him scorpions. Giant ones at that. All right. Um, well, that hotel was stupid. I thought there was something worth doing here. I could have sworn there was. Shows what I know, Rex. Shows what I know. I if the room's on the other side. No. It's in this mailbox. Nothing. I don't want to go over there. Damn it. No, no, no. Okay, I gotta deliver this. Oh, Rex, you gotta stop me. <laughs> I get distracted so easily. I'm like, what's over there? What's over there? <laughs> the next thing you know, we're gonna be in Colorado at that rate. Hey, morons. I'm looking for a doctor. Dr. Buttface. Well, I'm pretty sure that's not the name they gave him, but whatever. All this work because I want to pick up one extra person to help us go after Benny. Because we got trashed by the uh, 
Legion last time we were there. Hi, Happy Squirrel. Alright, excuse me, sir. Do you know where there's a Dr. McButtface? Excuse me? Patrolling the Mojave almost makes you wish for a nuclear winter. No. I wish these worked. I hope if there's a Fallout 4 that you can drive the vehicles. That would be cool. I'm looking for a doctor. Apparently he's supposed to be in here. This is an airport. I like how he's Wasteland Dad again. Last time I was Wasteland Daddy, he got wasted. Not like in the good fun way. Excuse me, sirs. I have a letter to deliver. Um. Hello. Are you the man I talked to? I'm looking for a doctor. Man, Doc can't really fix me up right the last time I got shot. Oh, so there is a doctor. Um. Is this how I get there? Ah! No, I'm trapped! Rex, get help! Wait, 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 what? How'd I do that? That's weird. <laughs> Come on, I want to surprise Rex. He's going to wonder how the hell I came back this way around. Surprise! Rex? Ah, you were one cunny dog. Cunning dog. Hey, baby. A little busy at the moment, but I can talk. You want to get busy? What is this place? This? The OSI lab. We don't get many visitors. The smell puts people off, I think. You should bathe more Nobody then. Nobody ever said science would smell clean and fresh. Anyway... You get used to it if you give it some time. I, I'm guessing you're a scientist? I know, I don't sound the part. Get raised by Brahmin ranchers and you never lose the twang. Drives Hildren crazy. But I know Hildren? every inch of the power grid from Hoover Dam to Shady Sands. That's what we do here. Try to optimize the power output from the dam. Some of the others are working on an agricultural project, but truth be told, they aren't making much progress. Not yet, anyway. Uh, what's your role here? Head researcher. Mostly on the dam project, but I help out on other things when they need me. Gotta be flexible. Flexible, eh? Head researcher? I got a head you can research. Need any help with anything? You mean, give you work? No, that'd be up to the administrator, Hildern. He's back there in his office. Between you and me, I don't think he ever leaves. Plenty of mercs go in to see him, though. Why? I can't say. We're not supposed to talk about the research. Not the details. If you're interested, I'm sure he'd see you. All right. Nice to meet you. If you need anything, I'm almost always in the lab. I think this game is about not finding closure, Rex. We find more quests than solutions to quests. Hey. Why'd you kick that chair? A pleasure to meet you. I'm Dr. Thomas Hildern, Director of Operations, OSI East. I presume you're here about Vault 22? Uh, yeah, sure. Wonderful. Straight to it, then. Have you signed the release forms? No? Doesn't matter. We'll keep that to ourselves. Vault 22. Where to begin? Yeah, I'm listening. Imagine, if you will, the wasteland in bloom. Vast fields of corn that grow from seeds and produce their bounty in the space of a month. Orchards of trees, their branches weighed halfway to the ground, hung with fat ripe oranges, a harvest that could feed a city or a nation. And all of this, all this, requiring no more than a few drops of precious water and the efforts of only a handful of human farmers. Impossible? Uh, nothing's impossible if you believe in your heart. <laughs> Precisely. Science has proven that truth a thousand times over, but how many wasteland savages believe it? Present company accepted, of course. The bounty I describe to you is no idle fantasy. It exists in primitive form only a few miles from where we stand. We need only reach out and unlock its secret. For that, the OSI needs you. Scientific discovery is never that simple, pimple face. Isn't it? One directs one's efforts, or the efforts of others, toward a goal, and progress is made. It's a matter of incentives, nothing more. I believe that the inhabitants of Vault 22 unlock the secrets of vegetative growth. 
Plants are spilling from their gate. No one tends them, no one waters them. Yet they multiply and spread in all directions. Find the reason for this miraculous growth, and I promise you the OSI will see that you are generously compensated. Um, okay. I don't know if I'm actually going to do this, but I'll take the job. Good. No need to check in with the NCR authorities. I can authorize your payment from OSI accounts. Vaults typically contain a server room on a lower level, where they would have backed up their research data. A computer room, you understand? Download all the information on the central server to your Pip-Boy. And you'll be certain to bring me any notes or samples that you find, won't you? Uh, anything else I should know, fat face? I thought it was a fairly straightforward assignment. It's a simple question of retrieving the data, which shouldn't prove overly challenging. Downloading the data will be handled by your... Well, oh, whatever. Fuck you, bye! Best of luck to you. Not that you'll need it. You seem like a reasonably competent person. Thanks. That's what everybody says, reasonably competent. Can't even find the doctor. Did Dr. Hildern... This really isn't any of my business, but... Did he give you a job? No, but you can give me a hand job if you want. I mean, yes, he told me to get some data from Vault 22. I shouldn't say anything. I know that. But you're not the first person Hildern sent out to the vault. What? There were a lot of mercs. One after another. None of them came back. Then, about a week ago, there was a scientist, Keeley. She's unusual. Not the sort of person you'd expect. But she's an absolute genius, and... And he didn't mention her? Not even her name? Or any of the other mercs? Uh, no. But now he's hired you. Which means one of two things. Either he heard back from Keeley, and she failed, or he's given up on her. Listen, I make a fair wage, but I'm not rich. Not by any means. Maybe my kind of money wouldn't appeal to your average merc. But I'm willing to pay you if you'll find Keeley and make sure she's safe. In right leaving her out there. No idea if she's alive or dead. Yeah, I'll look for her if you're gonna pay me. We'll be there I had anyway. a good feeling about you. Moment you walked in. I mean it. Yeah, alright, goodbye. I'm looking for a doctor. Right, good luck. Rex, people never shut where Rex, where'd you go? Quit talking to that idiot doctor. Wait. That's not the doctor I had to give the stuff to, was it? I think it was a different doctor. Shouldn't it be Dr. Hildern? Wait, that was him, right? Damn it. <laughs> yes? Something else you needed? Yeah, I've got an invoice for you. I'm not very bright. <laughs> From Alice. I'll see that she's paid right away. Yeah, whatever. Crimson Caravan runs a tight operation. Even out here in the waste, wouldn't do to keep them waiting. Was there anything else, or were you just here about the invoice? That's it. And I'll work on your other thing if I run into the vault. <laughs> yes. Goodbye. Whatever. Can you believe that, Rex? I left the guy. Hmm. This is around here. Hi! So, we're all impressed with the work you've done for us. What? Thought you might be able to make use of this. It's a key to a little hideaway south of here. We've used it as a place for rangers to rest and resupply. I thought you might get good use out of it. Okay. Whatever. Um, do you need more manpower? There are a lot of things I can't spare troops for right now. If you can help us, we can definitely pay you for your work. All right. Hmm. You don't cook by any chance, do you? Farber's doing his best, but it's hard to manage an army with half my staff in line for the latrine. Honestly, we're fighting a lot of fires right now. The fiends keep pressing their position from Vault 3. We've got the Legion breathing down our necks across the river. We actually took an officer alive last week, but so far he hasn't spoken a word. Uh, I bet I can make the dude talk. I have Lieutenant Boyd on that already, and she's excellent, but I think she's hit a wall. Talk to her if you like. See if she has any use for you. Her office is right above mine, but I think she might be interrogating right now. So she'd be upstairs on the other side of the building. Uh, who are the fiends that you talked about? You know what? Yeah. As in chem fiends. Biggest gang of raiders I've ever seen. Nothing like addiction to swell your numbers. Psychotic and completely unpredictable. They set up shop in Vault 3 to the west. Every day they attack our positions and my men repel them. But every day there's more of them and less of us. 
I sent one of my rangers after their leader to try and destabilize them. He didn't return. Hell of a thing, losing a ranger. You come to depend on them, and they come through for you so often, you forget it can happen. Uh, I'll go there and see if I can... I don't want to find the ranger, but I want to murder everybody there. Rex is good at murdering. That vault is a hornet's nest. If you have second thoughts, no one would think less of you for it. But if you can get him home, it'd mean a lot. Watch for civilians, too. The fiends have been kidnapping locals. They just walk right into people's homes in the middle of the day and take them. But the man you're looking for is Bryce Anders. Anders was trying to find the leader, Motor Runner. You hear something like a chainsaw? You've found Motor Runner. Put a bullet in his head, and you'll have some new friends around here. Well, see, most people take their dog for a walk. I take my dog on a murder spree. Um, what, any other problems? Yeah. On top of everything else, I can't send a patrol on a bathroom break without it being ambushed by someone who heard they were coming. So somebody's getting the word out. Yeah, you seem calm so that things are as bad as they are. Calm is what you have to be when people look to you. And it's all you can be when things are out of your hands. Um, how are things going for the NCR? Could be better, I'll say that much. We set up here with our sights set on annexing Ow. New Vegas. It's a lot of resources that could do a lot of good for us. But that hasn't happened. If anything, they annexed us. They rake in the profits from our soldiers, and we're stuck protecting them from the Legion. Not exactly the plan. Sounds like you guys got played, so where's that leave you? Now we're trying to secure the strip and the dam at the same time, and it's Damn. costing us. Damn. And in the meantime, General Oliver won't approve any offensive maneuvers, because he doesn't want to risk losing our positions. So we're in a holding pattern here. And Caesar's on the other side of the river, planning. Damn, damn, damn. <laughs> Alright, I'll see if I can help you with some of your problems. Oh, wait, there's more here? Who's leaking the NCR intelligence? So you're getting ambushed. Hmm, well, why not? Given your recent arrival, at least I can safely rule you out as the leak. I'd like to have absolute trust in my men, but that's just not practical right now. Go ahead and look into it. See what you find. We don't have much to go on right now. Lately, every raiding party in New Vegas seems to have a map of our troop movements. It derails everything. Supplies, reinforcements, and it'll only get worse the longer we let it go on. Captain Curtis is heading up the investigation right now. He can fill you in. Cowboy Curtis? I loved him on Pee-wee's uh, playhouse. Uh, what's Camp McCarran's role in NCR? It's our main base. We took it because it lets us keep an eye on the Strip, and it had already been fortified before the Great War. From here, we handle most of the logistics for our operations in Nevada. Troop allocation. Supply distribution, intel. Usually General Oliver runs the show here. But he's on his way to the dam now, so I've taken on a lot of his duties here. Duty. <laughs> you ate his poop. Um, are things mostly quiet between here and the dam? Unfortunately, no. In fact, the word from the ranger stations has been especially concerning lately. It sounds like they've run into overwhelming resistance, and supplies just aren't reaching them. It's been so bad, I asked Sergeant Ray as at Camp Forlorn hope to look into it. And see how it is that things could be so fouled up there. I think I might have... Did I save the people there? I saved the people somewhere accidentally. Everything was going according to President Campbell's plan at first. We met minor resistance from local troublemakers. But our two main objectives are still contested. Mr. House controls the Strip and he won't so much as meet with our ambassador. And we're holding Hoover Dam. But Caesar's Legion is positioning itself to overrun it. If it falls, so will New Vegas. We'd be forced to withdraw. Well, as much as I like how Caesar's Legion deals with people, they crucify people for everything, they do keep law, I don't want them to overrun my city. Bye. I don't want them to crucify me or Rex. Something I can do for you? Are you talking to Rex? He asked if he could do something for Rex. Alright, so somewhere around here... Oh, sweet. Cool plane. Somewhere around here, there's someone interrogating someone. Which I promised I would help with as Wasteland Dad. Um, inaccessible. Boyd's in there with a the prisoner right now. Oh, boy, that's what I'm for. Who's that guy? That must be the prisoner. You still got like a sore thumb around here. You sure you're in the right place? You look like you got a mustache in there, stupid! Be rude to me. Who are you? Not big on reading name tags, huh? That's okay. My name is long and difficult to pronounce. Ready for it? It's Boyd. Lieutenant Boyd to my friends. 
Colonel Shu has me handling the policing duties for the base. I've told him he could make my job a whole lot easier if he would just let me shoot anyone who talks back to me. But you know how colonels can be. Uh, you need help? Yeah. So far this has gone exactly as expected. Poorly. But with the work you've done for NCR already, you might be just what I've been looking for. We captured an honest-to-God centurion of Caesar's legion recently. So? Better believe it. Everybody. Everybody in Caesar's legion from Caesar on down will kill themselves before they can be captured. They're so twitchy they'd probably do it if you reached out to hug them. But here's this guy, who's an elite commander in their army and he just gives himself up, even as his men are slitting their own throats around him. So, what's it mean? Well, I don't know about you, but to me that sounds like a man who's willing to cooperate. Except he hasn't. Only times he speaks up are to insult you. Me? He's a real prick, by the way. And I'm supposed to get information out of this guy. How does he know about me? I'm guessing you mean you. Why well, don't you just beat him senseless? I like the way you think. Have I said that yet? Problem is that the NCR frowns on using that sort of tactic. There are some restrictions still in place from President Tandy's administration. But here's my favorite thing about you. You're not in the NCR. Plus, for all this guy knows, you're completely insane. That's a winning combination. Um, so you want me to do what you can't? Like, poop in his face? I think if you rough him up enough, and really put some fear into him, he'll sing like a choir boy. So let's do this. When you're ready, I'll go in and give you a little intro. Then I leave the room, and you make him regret the day he was born. We go back and forth a couple times until either he talks or he can't move his jaw anymore. Either way, we've had our entertainment for the day. God, I'm glad you're not your prisoner. <laughs> um, okay, let's get started. That's the spirit. Okay, I'll go in and have a word with him. Then I'll call you in. Okay, Rex, we need a dress for this. We need... A, let's see, apparel. Let's put on our tuxedo hat. Um, let's get out our cane. Do I, did I bring the cane with me? Tell me I brought the cane. Oh, God, I didn't bring the cane with me. Seriously? How did, could I forget the cane? Damn it! I almost want to go back and get it. As much as that really doesn't matter. There, we, we want to look proper. No see, Silus. Lieutenant, I was just thinking about you. That's so. I was. I was just thinking about that pretty neck of yours. How sweet. I was thinking about how it would look with a Legion slave collar on it. I'll pass. Do you know what I love about our slave collars, Lieutenant? If you love them, maybe you should try one on. I love how tightly they fit. I train my men to make sure the slave's flesh bulges a bit around the top and bottom. Know why? It's all the rage in fashion circles? Not quite. If you fit it just right, their body never gets used to the feeling of wearing it. It cuts in just enough when they swallow or turn their head to remind them who they belong to. And it's that constant reminder that keeps them docile. In that case, maybe you'd better save the collar you were gonna give me. Oh? For whom? For a friend of mine you're about to meet. My friend isn't very docile. And who is this friend of yours? You know all the rules the NCR instituted to protect enemy prisoners of war? Of course. My friend doesn't. Oh, and Silus? If you resist at all, I'll personally blow your brains out. Come on in. He's all yours. I'll be back in a bit to see how you're getting along. Get open the and door. And I'll need you to surrender your weapons before you go in. What? You can pick them up from the locker on your way out. Don't tell him that. Really? Did you tell him that? Why? All right, let's make a good impression here, Rex. Rex? I'm Lord Stinky Bottom the Third. Hello. <laughs> what an ugly little worm you are. What pile of excrement did the lieutenant pluck you from, worm? I love you too. 
My intelligence is an eight. Um, I'm with the. You know, I'm gonna lie. I'm guessing my intelligence. My intelligence is high. I did pick a smart guy. I'm with the Legion. I'm here to kill you before you talk. You're nothing. You're some inept mercenary the NCR is paying to supplement its own incompetent soldiers. Ooh. Oh, cool. I don't know what Latin is. I'm gonna do that. Legum survey summus. We are both slaves to Kaisar's law, and you, sir, are in violation. No, listen. Kaisar's secrets are safe with me. I stayed alive because Kaisar would have wanted it. I'm useless to him dead. Um, we're gonna use intelligence. You're a danger to him alive. Your knowledge threatens him. I've told them nothing. They've gotten nowhere. I'm a Kenturian for Christ's sake. I deserve his trust. You know what? That's right. Caesar's laws are... K Kaiser's laws are absolute. He does not grant exceptions, worm. You have to let this go. I'll disappear. No one will ever see me again. That was always the plan in the first place. That means you're a deserter. So in addition to treason, you're also a deserter? No, that's not what I meant. I... Lieutenant, this man is trying to kill me. He's not who you think he is. He will talk now. He fears All me. All that shouting. Honestly, Silas, you get free room and board. The least you could do is be a good guest. Lieutenant, this man is an agent of the Legion on a mission to kill me. My, we have an active imagination today, don't we? Think about it. Is it worth the risk? You need what I know. Well, it sounds like the two of you are becoming fast friends. It'll be your head if I die, Lieutenant. You'll be disgraced. You know what? I think you're right, Salus. Of course I'm right. Except, I don't care. Because it'll be worth it. It'll be worth it to never have to hear you say another word, Salus. Carry on. Lieutenant! Oh, sweet! Time to kill you! You don't have to do this. <laughs> but I do, oh, but I do, Silas. Unlike you, I follow Kaisar's orders. If I'd killed myself, then I would have been murdering one of Kaisar's greatest soldiers. Either choice is a betrayal of the Legion, as I see it. Someone's full I've of I've done himself. everything Kaisar ever asked of me, and this is how I am repaid. With assassination, I ambushed countless NCR patrols and wiped them out so that our operatives could move freely. I waited for him to dispatch us for three days, never questioning why the headaches he complained of would hinder his ability to command. I don't keep listening. I haven't breathed a word about the officer we planted here. He continues to radio intelligence to Kaisar's camp nearly every night. I've proven my loyalty. All you're doing is killing a loyal soldier. If that's Kaisar's policy, then I say his empire will crumble. What? <laughs> Uh, if his empire falls, it'll probably be because the Centurions are so gullible. What? What do you mean? You've been tricked, dumbass. I'm working with the NCR. <laughs> I got you to talk. No, you slimy bastard. Nothing I've said will change the outcome for you. No force can hold back the tide of the Legion. This camp and everyone in it will burn. Maybe. But watch me dance! Ooh, I got my phone get fresh moves! Oh, you know you like it! Oh! Oh! I'm dancing on your face! Oh, it's out of control! Uh... Get away from me. I do like those moves, you know it. Uh, hey, lady. You did well. I don't know how you did it without putting a scratch on him. And I'm a little disappointed personally, but... It saved the NCR some face. And it could save us more than that when all is said and done. I'm gonna talk to some people when we're through here. This is about double the standard fee we'd give a consultant, but from what I saw, you're more of an artist. So think of this as your commission. Thanks, see ya! Yep, see ya around. I hope that our guy is very intelligent, and I look good, Rex. That's the way you want to do it. 
with your guitar and your MTV. Thanks for watching, everybody. I'll see y'all next time. America is the best. Everybody can suck my dick.